Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue Alpine TV. In today's episode, we will talk about why Ethereum is falling so hard. We'll try to get on the ground and understand and investigate what exactly is happening. Um, before we get started, don't forget yesterday's episode appeared only on podcast. So if you're uh, not subscribed to the podcast, make sure you do. I will link it in the video description. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, um, we'll talk about some numbers, but I will link all the things we talk about. Before we get started, don't forget to um, sign up also on bluealpineresearch.com slash free minus report to get a free cryptocurrency uh, fundamental analysis on a cryptocurrency that we think is quite interesting. So make sure you sign up there with your email address and with your name so that we can uh, keep you up to date and send you that free report. So let's jump right into the market. The market looks red again, another bloodbath. Nobody really knows what's happening. The numbers are really in the close to the double digits here um, and it's looking really, really bad. Um, nonetheless, what uh, like fell into my eye uh, today was that Ethereum dropped quite significantly um, from around uh, six, seven hundred from the last few days. It dropped to below 500 US dollars right now. Um, if we switch this to Bitcoin prices, so it's 0 0.06 Bitcoin and it dropped uh, around 8%. So 8% in Bitcoin terms and 10% in USD terms. Now, obviously, the, the main question is why exactly is this happening? Um, as always with these kinds of, of, of things and stories, it's, it could be multiple things. Um, one of the, I want to say, main, topic is basic, main topics is basically this. Um, a couple of days ago, it came out that the SEC official says dozens of crypto investigations are on the way. Um, the SEC now has the time to lo really look into ICOs and what exactly uh, happened with ICOs in the last couple of days, years and months. So um, it's very possible that the SEC will uh, send out subpoenas, will send out certain things um, legal legal uh, issues to um, the, the company companies and organizations who have uh, created ICOs in the last couple of months and years um, and if you think about it technically ethereum is considered an ICO as well so it was kind of started in an ICO type of way so a lot of people are kind of scared that the SEC might also go um, after ethereum as well and may crack down on how ICOs are being done um, worldwide and the US. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this would apply to Ethereum because Ethereum is technically, the, the Ethereum foundation at least, is technically founded in Zug in Switzerland. So um, I'm not sure whether the SEC's laws do apply to Ethereum in this case. Nonetheless, the news obviously put some panic into people's minds. Another really interesting thing, and I think this is actually one of the main reasons why this is happening, and um, I will link to this tweet here um, from at Whale Panda, which is a known uh, Twitter in the cryptocurrency space. And um, he asked any uh, reason why uh, Ethereum dumped so much. And actually, one uh, Claptrap, Claptrap XL uh, posted a link to Sandbase which is kind of a, a project list that is um, kind of uh, calculating and collecting all ERC-20 related data. And um, what is really interesting is uh, like all projects are listed there, a lot of uh, ERC-20 tokens, if not all of them. And what is very interesting, so you see columns, especially for the podcast listeners, you see a certain columns here. Uh, you see price, volume, market cap, balance, um, uh, PB, which is the, the ratio between the market cap and the current crypto balance. Companies with low PB ratio might be undervalued. And then you have ETH spent, so Ethereum spent in the last 30 days. And you have DEF activity in the last 30 days, as well as signals. Um, now, the biggest, I want to say that the most important column right now is this ETH spent in the last 30 days. And if we filter this list on um, with, with uh, the highest ETH spent in the last 30 days, we can see that the EOS uh, project has um, spent or sold 
417,000 Ethereum tokens. And this is, of course, a huge amount. So these are, um, if, if you follow this tweet a bit along, um, this is a lot, a lot, a lot. So um, the, the, the reason why could be multiple folds. So on one side, you have EOS, which was created kind of as a almost Ethereum killer. But it started out as an ERC20 token. But now you see those numbers and you see that EOS is selling a lot of Ethereum from their crowd sale and they are sending it um, technically to Bitfinex wallet. So um, it has been sold on Bitfinex. Why Bitfinex? Why not another exchange? It's a different story. Um, however, it basically means that either EOS is trying to cash out into fiat currency or into another currency or um, EOS is kind of scared that the ERC20 tokens are getting um, subpoenaed by the SEC so they are trying to remove those uh, ERC20 tokens from their wallets in order to um, not have any legal problems. This could be one of the reasons I, I don't want to um, start rumors or anything this is just one uh, twitter uh, story that that came out today and i think it's it's quite plausible um it says here also that uh, 417000 ether to one address chunks up to 50k ether go to bitfinex wallet 163000 eth in total since 417k has been withdrawn so why exactly now? Why not earlier? Um, it could be because the market is in general downswing. It could be because EOS is scared. It could also be because EOS needs the money in order to fund development. This is a pretty legit way. I mean, EOS did a normal crowd sale. They created this um, kind of ICO. They've received those, those Ethereum tokens so they can do whatever they want technically. Um, obviously, it's a bit of a weird time to actually do it right now it kind of reminds us at uh, reminds us of this um, bitcoin uh, dump that happened a couple of uh, days and weeks ago which was like the main cause and um, where uh, the, the, the the people or actually the the, um, the person who was in charge for the liabilities of the people that were affected by the mount gox hack uh, a couple of years ago and he started selling off Bitcoin um, uh, currency and that actually caused a lot of the uh, downswings in the last couple of days. So um, it could be something very similar. Maybe there is more to this story. We will keep you posted for sure. But for now, um, like we always say, don't invest into the price action. This is kind of a, 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 a difficult time to really properly invest anyway. So um, make sure to invest into the fundamentals, make sure to understand the projects, make sure that you're um, investing into currencies that are perfectly legal in your country and make sure to tax them properly as well. And then you shouldn't and be scared of any any legal consequences happening. So um, that being said, uh, keep this in mind. There is always um, uh, news to why the, the the numbers are dropping so low. Obviously, there is a lot of emotion right now as well. So. Um, as always, we always say uh, long term horizon, diversified portfolio, and then you don't have to worry about anything. Um, Nonetheless, obviously, this is not financial advice. You have to do your own research and talk to a financial advisor. But uh, yeah, this is a very interesting story. We'll keep you posted. Maybe in the next couple of days, we'll hear more about this. But for now, this is probably the main reason why Ethereum is dropping so low. And with that, guys, we're already at the end of today's episode. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the podcast, leave a review, leave a comment, and I will see you on the next one.